now the Star Wars robots that could help frontline healthcare workers. Cruiser and his mates have been used in hospitals overseas and are programmed to disinfect wards and even take temperatures. Martin King caught up with Cruiser. Hi, Cruiser. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ooh, elbows. Cruiser, how many languages do you speak? I can speak 26 languages. Wow. Meet Cruiser. Doesn't get tired, doesn't get stressed, doesn't get sick. And he or she and the rest of the robot family are here to help. Already these humanoid artificial intelligence robots have been used inside and outside hospitals in China. To take pressure off overwork healthcare staff, they take temperatures, disinfect wards, and even disinfect themselves. One of the most important robots that we have is to gauge and measure body temperatures really quickly in the, in the chaotic situation. Natasha Hung is the Australian manager for UB Tech, the creators of Cruiser and Co. She says their work in China proved invaluable, and here in Australia, with the Hi, pandemic worsening, they'd allow overwhelmed hospital staff to do their jobs safely. Those medical staff are our precious resources in this time, at this time that we really need them to do the critical job. We need them to be next to ICU bed. We need them to tend to those severe situation patients instead of measuring body temperature and then get them infected. Cruz, I'm just a little bit confused because Cruiser is a bloke's name and I thought you'd be a bloke. I'm whatever you want me to be. <laughs> it's fantastic technology. It's, it's, it's world leading, but more importantly, technology has no nationality. Gaprit Giuliani from Telstra Ventures, which is Telstra's independent investment arm. They're backing this technology big time and believe our hospitals and patients would benefit. So here we have technology that can be used to assist us immediately um, and, and, and help hopefully save more lives. We think Cruiser and its family can actually change the health system by actually helping people do their jobs safely. So Cruiser, how should I be washing my hands with this coronavirus? You wash your hands for 20 seconds like this. So we really need to act. We really need to take the time and this situation really seriously and then bring those robots in. We've all seen those lines outside our hospitals and hospital staff spending their shifts taking temperatures. The robot will be able to measure 200 body temperature within one minute. 200 people in one minute? Because this robot will be able to capture, because if you look at the robot, they have each picture frames. So each picture frames they will be able to capture 10 to 20 faces. Very excited about where this could go. Um, and now having a look at who would have thought that this technology can be used now to sort of protect our front end health workers. Queensland Health trialled the robots last year to guide patients around hospitals and conduct surveys. Now it's using robot technology to fast track hundreds of coronavirus samples each day. Cruiser, do you know who I am? You're the legend, Martin King. Oh, Cruiser is smart. OK, I set that up, but there you have it. Cruiser and his robot family can be programmed to do virtually anything. We design those robots all operate offline, so we don't need any connections to the hospital system. And also a robot can connect to the government's website, so all the information will be real-time, will be uh, the, the single source of truth, so there will be no fake news or there will be misinformation. Well, goodbye, Cruiser, and thank you. Stay safe. You too. Don't you love it?